the glorious journey continues. And I wholeheartedly welcome you all back to the campaign. The Kingdom of Farasindil is trying to retrain its forces. We're going to move out. We're going to advance into enemy territory. We are going to try and move for Ilanin, the stronghold, the enemy stronghold over there in the north. And we're also going to try and move for Mornavell. These two cities are key for the strength of the wind and two strong settlements that we desperately want to grab from them. Karvarad is trying to retrain some forces here. We are getting these guys retrained. Look at that. Golden upgraded armor. 11 total defense now. Look at the seafarers. 20 defense. Even the claw guard has gotten an upgrade. 17 defense. Well, that's a lot. Um, How many times did they get an upgrade? 17. That's quite... I'm just going to have to double check and take a look. Romana, claw guard. They have 12. Okay, so they have been buffed up a great deal by the looks of things. Look at that. 17 total defense. That's a huge difference. It's going to make them so much better. Um, didn't we have another? I swear I was sending another cavalry unit somewhere. They're over there. Yeah, these claw guards are definitely going to move into Calvara and get their asses retrained. Look at that. 17 total defense. That's going to make them a lot more competitive in the battlefield. They're actually a really good cavalry unit for us. Look at that. 17 defense, 8 charge. I mean, that's really good. They're going to survive for much longer with the extra armor that they've received here. Uh, get these guys into the fort for a second. And get these claw guards into Karvarad, please. And retrain them. It's really important that we do. I'm thinking these guys, I kind of want to maybe uh, send them. No, you know what? We're going to get some more experience with them before we send them home. I want to get golden chevrons on this claw guard unit before we send them all the way back to Rumena and retrain them. Get them to gold and then retrain. So the situation in the kingdom of Arasindil is just me trying to go offensively. We're sending even more forces over there. Belagir archers and the Numenorean vanguard and even the Alcarondas faithful is going in as well and this is a powerful cavalry unit they can also be upgraded so maybe you know what send them over to Karvarad as well and upgrade them I think it's gonna be worthwhile and in the kingdom of Adunafel these guys are turning back to Eldalonda we're gonna try and retrain them as well get them back to maximum armor the legendary cohort the legendary Numenorean cohort company is also moving back to train and get better armor values can't wait to see that. And this army, Captain Mylilios, is going to be destroyed. We're going to move out. We're going to take him out. Bye-bye. Let's take him out. And he brings with him Filani war wagons and marksmen. These are the guys that retreated uh, from the Battle of Minas Tremak earlier. So this time, let's try and take them out. Let's see the Adonaim Shadow Bones for the first time in this battle as well. You guys have said that they are... A Hinidaur kind of unit. They can pierce through the bodies. They can pierce through the flesh of our opponents. Let's see if it works. If that indeed works, only four missile attack is still going to be deadly if they have the armor, uh, the body piercing trait. I really hope they do. It would be fun to see if they can. And we can also get to see the Melkor's executioners for the first time in this one. Let's jump into battle. Let's take this guy out. Let's totally, utterly delete him. Let's get them all killed. Start deployment. Take the high ground. Uh, we have the artists. Let's take a look at these guys. Just want to see them. There we go. They have the same kind of design as the Angmar archer, I think. Uh, the Dark Blade. But with a bit of a bronze kind of color scheme along with the black. Doesn't seem that they're getting a visual upgrade either. They look the same as they do on the picture here, but it's, it's gonna be nice to see them in action. And also, let's take a look at the other unit, the Melkor's Executioners. They look like the Temple Wardens, but with the Adonaim style instead. 17 attack, 28 defense, that's utterly insane. We can get the attack up to 20 even if we get the maximum chevrons. We can, so they can get a 20 attack, that's really good. Well, some wonderful units we're having in this army, for sure. This is a powerful army, even though it's not that large. It's still powerful. And we have a lot of archers. We have a lot of archers in this army. A lot of powerful archers. 
even have a ballista as well. Cavalry move over there. Start the battle, they're over there, okay. Archers, take the high ground quickly for me. Really want to see that and I'm Shadowbows do their magic in this fight. Melee forces move up over there. Ballista, fire as will. Executioners, I want you to be a flanking force if you need to go into battle. Oh, there we go. Philani Warwagons are already moving in with speed. Focus them, please. Archers, I want you to focus the Warwagons as well. Get into position quickly and fo yeah, the Kiefer Huntsman, they can fire all they want. They're not going to do too much damage to me, but here they come. The Warwagons. Shadow bows. Go for a volley. I want to see how much damage you can do. Oh, almost hit the, the, the damn thing. Oh, that was a long shot right there. We're no longer in range with our archers. Okay. Get a bit closer then. Stand over there somewhere. Melee line. You can slowly but surely move forwards as well. Okay, the Kiefer Huntsmen are actually firing at me, so you know what, let's just destroy them, I guess. Archers, take this off as well. It is time to fire. You are going to fire the Foresters, I just want to see if you have the body piercing. Let's take a look quickly and see. I think we yeah definitely they definitely do look at the damage we've done with one wally of the other nine shadow bows there they definitely have the body piercing traits even with four missile attack that's a lot of casualties yeah, we have to have that it's, it has to be that the other nine shadow bows will be a powerhouse of a unit for us to use destroy the war wagon don't let them get close to us they have to die they have to die them kill they can do massive amounts of damage there we go the entire unit is almost utterly destroyed now just get them killed before they go in please they're getting dangerously close oh, a bit of friendly fire there well they're dead good let's focus on something in the back melee forces you should be able to deal with them pretty easily on your own you, let's flank. Go for something. Cavalry, we can activate you. The battle should be over soon. You you can stop firing. Well, of course, executioners get in there. Cavalry's getting in. Let's pop the ability, and this battle should be over. They should break straight away here. Yeah, they're broken. These guys are broken. More like skirmishers are broken. Huntsmen, marksmen, they're moving in closer to the front lines. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. You guys can stop firing now as well. You've done enough. Cavalry, go for a charge on the foresters there. Let's see if we can break them as well. Rest of the melee forces, you can push forwards. Go for the billmen. Executioners, go in and slaughter them all. There we go. They should break immediately. The sheer power of the executioners. It's going to make them bleed. They're broken. Broken. Go for the hunters. Let's see if we can break them as well. The rest of the melee forces. Go forwards. No, that's... Dru uh, you know what? Druid and hunters are actually a bit scary to go for because they have spears. So we don't want to anger them unnecessarily with the cavalry. Yeah, these guys are actually not broken yet. Go for another charge on the hunters. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Melkor's executioners will scare the enemy forces. And we're plowing through the marksmen there with ease. And yeah, they're running away. These Juden hunters, man, they're really fast. Look at how fast they are. Let's see if we can break them this time. They have their spears. Let's see if we can make it happen. They're wavering. Come on, break them. We don't want to stick here in battle for too long. Now we're not winning the fight. They're refusing to surrender. Still have our guys left. Melkor's executioners. Can you deal with the Judenal Hunters? Please just get rid of them. Get 
Keep pushing for the enemy. Marksman. Keep your huntsmen are still here. Executioners. Just deal with the hunters. Here we go. We're going in. They're wavering. They're shaken. The executioners will make them falter. The courage will falter. There we go. The hunters are already broken instantly from seeing the executioners. They're afraid. They are afraid. Try and give chase. We've killed 65%. We need 90 or 85 or something like that. We're going to try and want to get that because I don't want this army to survive. We want to take it out entirely. There we go. They have something left somewhere. Huntsman over there. I think this is the unit. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Finally. Continue the fight and give chase. The last scraps of the attacking Enedwythian army that try to take back their capital, Minas Triamak, has been scattered by the superior forces of the Kingdom of Adunafel. This cavalry unit is so small, we're not getting the chase correctly here. We're not getting them killed as we want to get them killed. They have, yeah. Just try and kill the last remaining forces. We might be able to get up to 85 at least. There we go. 88. 83 it went back to. 42 losses. There are 155 men remaining. They might still survive in this battle. Look at the Shadow Bows. 132. Okay. Okay. These are killing machines. These are killing machines. I will never talk badly about these guys ever again. They can do serious damage to the enemies. And I'm so happy that we have them in our roster. For a while at least. But there we go. This army is no more. Great work. Get them killed. Oh, they're still, still alive. But they only have a few guys remaining. A few guys. Oh, we're stuck here. Well, can we do this then? I'm going to do it. We have the Ballista. We can attack immediately. I'm going to auto-resolve this battle. Seven losses. Good. We should get our movement points back. Let's take a look at the kills. Anyone get any experience? Melkor's Executioners, four kill, 44 kills. That's good. It's going to count up to their experience later. Continue. There are no more. Good. Can we move back now? Cavalry can get back. Okay, 75%. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, you know what? You're going to have to sit in the fort for a turn to, to save some extra buck. And then we're going to go back to Ministry and I can retrain. And then we're going to move out for the south and maybe take the region over there. That should be Karas. And the Elder Londa force is also going to move out soon and go for Londa Angren over there. We need new commanders here, though, because they're locked. One in Bale and one in Sadan Belage. And we need... At le I really want to have at least one other commander uh, to lead against the forces of Enedwyth. I don't want a captain to lead the armies when we go for the settlements. But uh, there we go. There we go. Great work. Great work. And let's end it up. Oh, forgot about my flipping merchant. I need to remember to get him moving because otherwise he's not going to get to Breland territory quick enough. We need to get him over there. We need to get to the pipe weed resource with Castamite. He should be able to earn us quite the sum of money. So keep going with him. We have to keep going. I'm having so much fun with this campaign still. It's... Um, this is episode number 11. It's still so much fun. There's still so many things to look forward to in this campaign. Angmar's might. Hmm. Okay. Have they taken something? If they have taken Fornost or Anuminas, we might want to go after and claim one of those regions for ourselves. If the D Northern Dunedain is not in control, the Kingdom of Honor, I should, should say, because they have been reformed in this campaign. Uh, if they're controlling one of those, I want you to scout. Scout and find Anuminas and Fornost. 
for me. Let's see who is in control of those settlements. Weather Hill North Downs. Keep going, I think. Now this is Weather Top. Go for Fornost. Try and scout it and scout Anumina's for me, please. Moorland Roads. Good. It's going to help a bit with Eco over here. What do we want to go for? Maybe more growth. Chicken farming, perhaps. Just to make it grow a bit more. Public fountains. Go for the fountains here. Bale Dark Sanctuary. 16% culture. How is it looking at Saddam Belagir? 37% culture. We're getting there. We have spies in both of these territories. Conscription camp. We're not getting any good forces. Freka Linger Hill Riders are still okay. But the Kiefer Huntsmen really don't serve too much of a purpose for us because we have so many great archers on our own already. Go for the port. Go for the port over at Bale. And please give me some vision. Get a tower there. And give me a tower there. And in the next turn, you will move down there and give me a tower there as well. Crewman report, Elder Londa, Minas Triamak, Santa Nui. Oh, we did get the spy at Bale. Do we have two agents there now? Retrained, retrained, retrained. Good, let's take a look. Do we have two spies here? Yes, we do. Where do we send you? Maybe to the Isengard frontline, or maybe the north, actually, because you will do a better job of spying. Yeah, go over there. I want to take a look at Fornos and Anumanas. I want to have at least one of those regions later. And if Angmar has taken one of those regions, we might go for, for one of them. Send an army up north and grab one of those powerful Numenorian settlements. There is Numenorian blood flowing in the veins of these two cities here. And we want to have at least one of them. We might ally with the Northern Dune and I later as well. And Thorbad as well is also a region that we desperately want. We don't want the enemy because I think this is a settlement that we can get. I'm just going to double check. I think we can get the cab from here. And that means that we should be able to get custom generals as well. Just give me... Let me take a look. Thorbad Bridge. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. Vanguard. Faithful and the Farasim nobles are available from the bridge of Tharbad. So the Tharbad is one of those key settlements that we desperately want to grab because we can get custom generals. Then we have a location in the east where we can get, or the custom general, we can get just standard bodyguards. But at least we will have one region in the west that can give us governors and one in the east that can give us governors. This would really help us out, this settlement. Really would like to try and grab it some way or another if we can you are getting back to yes my lord minas Jemak. train everything you are going back to eldalonde we might take the ship no we cannot because dunlan is blocking this area take this way just walk home instead East. Your will, my lord. This army is getting ready. Look at that. 24 total defense here. I think it is time to move out. I think the time is now. Let's move out with Gimelkar. Let's not oh, wait anymore. Let's go. Let's take a few of these guys. Uh, we haven't retrained everything yet, though. So we might want to wait one more time before we head on out. I think we are going to do that. Yeah, we, have, we still have some forces that need to be retrained. Uh, send one of the... Thorn Patrollers over to the fort. You are going in there to be retrained as well. These guys can go with the other army. Tarek Magan's army. We still need to retrain these guys as well. Send these two guys up somewhere. Stand them on the bridge. And we will try and retrain these guys as well. At least, I'm not going to retrain you. Um, let's prioritize the other units first. 
In the next turn, we should be able to move out with at least our king. You're also going there to train. Everything is going to... to Karvarad for training. And... It looks like... Dale has beaten back some runic forces here. On Dosto. Um, yeah, he, he can attack me. And we don't have any more money. Okay, we need some more forces here. Ships ready. You're standing there. You can get back to Ondosto. Let's get another unit. Seafer is going to take two turns. They're going to reach me in one turn. Get some more pikes. Get some more pikes. We will have three pikes here. Two archers and one spear. I think possibly that should be enough. This is not the largest army. I think that should be enough. As long as we don't fiddle around with the movement of the pikes, we should be fine there with that kind of an army. Yes, my lord. Can we get you upgraded as well in terms of armor? Yes, we can. Well then, let's upgrade him as well. It's ne never ending, the upgrading here. Yes, my lord. But Tarek Magan, you will lead an army, so I want you to be upgraded as well. Queue him up for retraining as well. <laughs> okay. It might take two turns before we can move out, uh, honestly. But we will move out as soon as we can. And we're readying up for a total advance into the south. We are. Uh, spies moving north to try and scout the regions over there. And the turn. Yeah, Fornost, or Anuminas, and Tharbad. Crucial regions for us. Well, Fornost and Anuminas aren't really game-changing, but they will allow me to recruit the Farasim nobles. Uh, or the Farasim swordmasters. No, not the nobles, the swordmasters. And they are a force to be reckoned with. They absolutely are. I want to show them off in this campaign at least once. So I think we have to grab one of those settlements. Snow Orc Dominion. Okay, they're doing quite well, I guess. And to be honest, I think we're helping them out because we're weakening Darwinian. We are also kind of weakening Dale as well in the process. Mengelen is northern Dunedain territory. Faction leader High King Eldarion. Aragon has died and this is the new High King of Arnor. Yeah, we really, I really want to switch sides soon. I really want to switch sides, but we are not going to be able to get those guys, though. That's the thing. We can still ally with the Northern Dunedain, perhaps, and still be allied to Mordor at the same time. A lot of buildings has been done. Sadan Belagir has upgraded itself. Mason's Guildhouse, I think that's the best thing to go for. It's really expensive, though. We're not earning as much money anymore because we're getting a lot of units. Archer range guard barracks, we're at 68% culture here. Uh, something cheap, maybe. Go for the farms. Ondosto shipwright, let's go for the leather tanner. Alcarondos guard barracks, yeah, let's save the money, we, we cannot afford anything. Mining network over there. Was that your best shot? Fionn is standing outside once again, just stopping me from moving out. Yeah, we just finished the flipping barracks, that means that we can retrain the forces to full strength, a few of these standard Belagir units. Yeah, look at that. We can train them. Yeah, we, we, I'm, I'm not going to waste any more time retraining. We are going to move out in the next turn. The time is now. The time to strike is now. We cannot wait anymore. We're waiting too long. We need to go for an offensive action. Prince Brand is standing over there. Just let them be. If this guy gets closer, we might want to take the fight, though, with the Prince Brand. Otherwise, we're going to wait. Uh, At your service. As you command. Keep moving with this guy as well. At your service. My lord. 
Your orders. You're headed for the snow orcs. As you wish. I am a warrior, not a tin tired of all some powerful Angmary Marmies in the north. Yes, my lord. Keep yes. moving. I shall continue tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Why am I moving with both? Um Your orders. You are gonna stay here because we yes. want to get the alliance with the Northern Duna later, so get back Tomorrow's to Mengel and then just to prepare to make an alliance with them whenever we get the opportunity to do that. Okay, one I more army to take down, I guess. Your orders, my lord. Freckelinger, hill riders, you're gonna go back to Eldalonda and retrain yourself. Look at this army here. Cannot afford to train everything, sadly. And these. The Golden Numenorian Code Company is not available for a train just yet. We did get another unit. I really want to retrain these guys. They deserve to be retrained again. <laughs> to full strength. Uh, once again, I guess we have to move out and kill this guy. Get him killed, please. Fion, this is a one of their generals. This is a far weaker army. They only have the Starling kind of units. Uh, bandits, Tauta, Border Guards, Huntsmen, Flipping hardest though, we want to take them down with our superior archers. Let's go in again, let's take this guy out. We attack. Well, well, well. They have the hill advantage. I don't think that's gonna matter too much because we have so many great archers. Start the battle straight from the get go. The shadow bows are already in range. Look at that. Oh, let's take a look at this. Where did they fire? They're firing over there. Oh, look at that. Look at the carnage. Look at the destruction. Okay, now. Every archer, focus the herders. As always, get those bastards destroyed. <laughs> Please. I hate them. I hate them. Focus them down entirely. They shouldn't survive for too long, these herders. But somehow, they're actually tanking the shots fairly well. They're not getting killed too rapidly. I was expecting them to die instantly, but no. That's not the case here. They're actually tanking the shots fairly well. Infantry, let's go to the flanks. Clan Heralds are actually moving quite close to us. Try and tie them up. Archers, they're going to do some damage to you. We need to pull back a bit here. Yeah, look at the harder. We didn't get them killed. The ten remaining still, even though we have powerful archers. They still managed to, to tank the shots for some flipping reason. They managed to do it. I don't know why and how they could do it, but some way or another, they're just too powerful. We're taking some serious damage from something. Um, what are we taking so much damage from? Do they have anything really powerful that they're using? Look, look, I mean, we're, we're taking some serious damage from... from is it the Tauta and the Border Guards? The Clan Heralds, I think, yeah, he's the one that does so much damage to us. These disgusting javelins, man. It's time to move with you. Do some damage. We can't move. We cannot attack the herders. We're going to lose that fight, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. I'm just going to want to silence those bastards and get rid of them. You go and silence the huntsman, please. Once again, a pretty clunky battle. Go for a charge on the Tartar there. I mean, we're just losing so many men here. We're always losing so many forces when we're fighting in Advice. It's unbelievable how much damage we're taking every time. Get these herders destroyed now, please. Get rid of them before I shit myself. And melee infantry just chase them down now. Battle is over. 
Fucking stop firing. Get them killed. Surely we should be able to get them killed here with our archers. How are they still alive? They're, I'm, I'm not sure how they can be so tanky. And the oh, cavalry, just please try and chase accordingly. Kill the general, do something, please. Chase after the general, kill him. Try and break the last remaining huntsman unit, just get it killed. 12% of my force has been killed. Yeah, we need this cavalry to be a lot larger than it is, because it's not chasing accordingly here. We're not getting as many kills as I want to. Clan Heralds have three guys remaining. Come on, get them killed. I think, yeah, this is the general. Get him killed, please. Get rid of this asshole, commander. The th sad thing is that these guys will survive, most likely. Because we're never killing the commander. Look at that, he's surviving. Did we kill him? No, he's over there. He's still alive. <laughs> Come on, guys, get rid of their disgusting general, please. Get rid of him, cavalry. How hard is it? There we go, good. Get rid of everything else now. We've killed 60%. That's not good enough. We need more than that. At least 90%. I want in this fight. I don't want this army to survive. I want it to die. But I'm not sure that we're going to get there. Because look at the cavalry. We're not getting the chase accordingly. here. It's not, they're not chasing in a good way. Come on, chase them. And try and get them killed. You're chasing on their sides. Come on. No, they're going to escape. There's nothing we can do about it. We need more cavalry. Try and get these guys killed, please. I'm going to be so happy the day in Adwaith has been destroyed. This is a disgusting faction to fight against. I absolutely hate it. There we go. Good. These guys will survive. How much more do they have on the field of battle? Oh, they have the bandits over there. Well, that's a target we want to bring down. Absolutely. Fire at them, archers. Cavalry, prepare to chase them down. Continue. I'll just go back. There we go. Get every single one killed. I want to be sure that this battle is going to make sure that the army is totally destroyed. This there we go. 122, 91%. Yeah, they should be destroyed after this battle. I certainly hope so. Yeah, we're losing guys every time. But I'm not going to wait any further. I'm going to move out now. It's time to move. No waiting anymore. I'm tired of waiting. It's time to move. Uh, who got the most kills? Belegate Footman. Look at that. We took a lot of losses on those guys. Uh, Shadow Bows got the most kills. No, the Footman got the most kills. There we go. We did manage to capture Fionn. I don't care. Get him killed. And the camp sacked. Some bonus gold coins. Great. Gimelcard. No, Gimelcard. Gimelsaw. It is time for you to move. Uh, you are pretty battered. Uh, let's send you back to Minas Tremak. And if we can... No, we cannot train you. Yes, Anything else we should send back? No, the settlement is blue. 75% is really not that great. Get another spy as well. I want to have a spy with uh, Gimelsaw's army. Send back to Kifi Huntsman as well. They might keep the peace a bit better. No. No, maybe not, but uh, yeah. Stay there. In, in, yes, just in case. You are going to move down for this area and try and get a new territory. Frekalingir. Yeah, we really should retraining, retrain those guys. Actually, yes, we are going to. You're going to go back to Minas Jemak for one turn and then in the next turn move for Eldalonda and retrain yourself. 
get back to full strength. We really need them to chase the enemy down. And when they only have 11 horses, they're not going to be able to get any great chases off. So get them retrained. It's going to help out. Yes, and you get a tower here, please. We can get some mercenaries. Done lending long spears. 40%, yeah, they're going to rebel for one turn. Get back there. Let them rebel for one turn, it's fine. You guys should also return to Elder Londa and retrain. Your orders, my lord. How is the culture looking over here? 42%. Orders. Yeah, we're once again retraining our forces. <laughs> it's a never ending retraining going on over, over, over at Kalvarad. It's just never ending. But I kind of want to do it because it's going to be worthwhile. Everything is going to get back to, to full strength with this. Look at these guys here. And we can recruit the forces here now, so we can retrain uh, these pikes, for example. Pop these guys into the fort as well. They can stay here for the time being. You. Uh, runic warriors. We're not going to be able to retrain you anymore. Let's get these guys in. What's your armor status? 14 total defense. I think they have been seriously upgraded here as well. Let's just take a look. Yeah, 10 defense regularly. They are now pretty competitive as well. Remember, these guys are more piercing. 5 attack, 14 defense. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Ships ready. That's right, fool. It's an enemy ship. Okay, can we end the turn now? Without something bad happened, happening. Certainly hope to look at this arm. It's getting ready to 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 do some serious things. This is a powerful army that we're gonna go uh, for um, Lond Angren with. Just need one more commander. That would help me out so much. Oh, they did go for me. We should be fine with the army that we have, though. I've said that before, but remember, we have upgraded Ondosto. It's now a castle instead of a Moss and Bailey, so, well, that's going to help us even further. Mordor is pushing further into Gondor territory as well. Look at that. They're moving over to, to that region, Faniland, I think it's called. Yeah, Gondor is really struggling against Mordor. Mordor is pushing their re Oh, but they are sending reinforcements over. Yes, my Follow someone, get back quickly. Mission success. We did get some extra bonus gold. That's good. We need that because we are losing a bunch of cash every turn. I think we should get the port over at Santa Noe. That should help us a bit with some more money. Get the port there. Group report minus Tremak. We did get the spy retrain. No. Eldalonda and Karvarad, there we go, good. Just send the cab back to Eldalonda. Retrain them. There we go. Oh, we might be able to retrain both. Yes, we can, that's good. And considering we have the Numenoran armor, I wonder how much these cavalry forces will be upgraded. I don't think we can upgrade them even further, but if we can, then that's just great. I'm not sure that we can, though. Um, yeah, when we can retrain these guys, we will get some extra archers here just to make them a bit more happy here. We are only at 75%. Your orders, my lord. Thorbad is really looking heavy in terms of its defenses. Yes, Gimilsor. It's time to move. You don't have the best army in the world anymore. You're not a fully stacked army. But I hope that you have enough. Oh, what's this? An Edwith Cavalry. I think this is a pretty decent cavalry unit. There we have it. The Enedwithian capital. It's a city as well. Mood Speaker. Their faction leader is inside. Let's go for it. Let's go. Isengard is here as well. And now that's a faction we're going to fight against later. Oh, do they have another region? Yes, they do. They have another over there. Okay. How many more regions do they have? Parthior. 
Maul Renaith and Fortrio and Angren Bay. Oh goodness, how many regions do they have? The disgusting wildmen. I thought they only had these two remaining, but it looks like they have a far more than that. It's this. Do they have Balorn as well? No, this is Isengard territory. Okay. Yeah, on Dosto besieged once again. Hopefully, this. No, the Runic army is nowhere to be seen. It will be an honor but, um, yeah. Oh, he is supporting us. Okay. You know, this is actually maybe a pretty scary army, to be fair. They have their factionaire. He brings the Hearth Guard. This guy is joining us, though. Surya Chariot. I, just wait. Wait here. He's probably the runic army is probably hidden somewhere. Let them attack, and hopefully the runic force will support us in the battle. Yeah, make the last retraining, and then finally we're gonna move out. No, we need to retrain these guys as well. Of course we do. Ah, just move out. I'm gonna move out now. I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm so tired of waiting. Gimelkat, you will lead an army to greatness. These guys, they're fully healed. Get them into the army. Anything else we can send over? You, I'm going to send these guys back to train at Karas Farason. Take the seafarers. Take one of the runic cavalry forces. Take the shield guard and the Alcaronlas. Legion. Move for Ilani. Take these guys as well. Move for Ilani now. Well, I mean, Tarek Magan's arm is not going to be the strongest. We don't have too many things left here. We have the powerful cavalry, though. And this claw guard unit. And the Adonaim shadow bow is with us in this army. So it's a, yes. still a pretty decent arm, but this arm is flipping deadly. This is a deadly army going for Ilanin. It is. We are running dry in terms of resources. We have a lot of armies out on the field, so... In terms of money... Yeah, construction and recruitment. We're earning about five grand each turn. Maybe a bit less than that. We need to be a bit chill on the recruitment of new forces. I'm gonna start sailing. Even though... We don't have a command here. I'm still going to sail. Because I mm, do not want to wait here anymore. Don't take everything. I want to have some guys left behind. Get into the fleet. Elder Londa still has a pretty decent garrison. Move for Londa Angren. I think it is located. It could be somewhere on there, I think. Move over there. Dock and grab it from our enemies. Spy. We need you to move together with uh, with the king of the kingdom of Adunavel. Can we get even another spy? No. Agent limit reached. Do we have another spy somewhere around? Twenty nine percent culture. Over here we have the shipwright. It's gonna boost the culture a bit. Um. This spy is going to move down to this area. And over at Saddam Belage, we will go for the Dark Sanctuary. This one, together with the port, should boost the culture quite quickly. Okay, let's end the turn again and let's prepare for the battle with the... Oh. Oh, he did... <laughs> he got stuck instantly. The merchant. I have to remember to manually move him every single turn because otherwise he's just keep getting stuck all the time. Prince Bran is moving in. Luckily for us, we are getting runic support. Uh, Dragon Wrath Cataphract is going to support us. Hopefully they can do some damage. It's a pretty badass unit, if I do say so myself. Claw Guard, Lokrim Cavalry, decent cavalry, and the Suryut Chariots. Let's go into battle. Hopefully this should go well. Let's go in. Attack. Well, this time, this Moss and Bailey is no longer a Moss and Bailey. It's an actual castle this time, so the towers will do massive amounts of damage to the enemy. 
and that should really help us out quite a lot. And archers, if how about if you stand over there? And if the other archers, they're standing over here, they can stand exactly where they're located at the moment. Save your shots. Cavalry. Um, should we move out with you and try and do some that? You can stay where you are. Pikes, stand over there. Cavalry, start the battle. Pikes. I want one pike over there. And one pike over here somewhere. One spear unit is going to guard this area. And one other pike unit is going to guard somewhere around there, I think. Cavalry, let's see if we can do some damage to them. Runic army has appeared. Let's just take a look at these forces. Dragon Wrath, Cataphracts. I want to see those guys. Yeah, look at these bad boys. They look tough. They look really tough. Look at the eyes. Now that's the eye of a man that has killed a lot of, lot of forces in his days. And we have the Claw Guard and the Suryut Chariots. And we had even another unit somewhere. We had the Lokrim Cavalry. Here they are. Also a fine looking unit. Unpause. Set them to be aggressive. I want them to just start doing damage to the enemy. Erebor Infantry. Athala Rangers. Yeah, go for the Athala Rangers. Weaken them. They're actually doing something. They're trying to fire out my cam. Silence them. Crush them entirely if you can. Just get rid of them. Rovanian Gudrods and Rovanian Gudrods. We want, maybe we should try and silence these guys, honestly. We don't want them up on the walls. Oh yeah, they're getting good shots off that. They're getting really good shots off. Look at that. They did a lot of damage to me there. Okay, get out. I'm not sure that we want to do this. The Hearth Guard is also doing a lot of damage to armor piercing. Go stop these Ravenna and Gadrots from reaching the walls at least. And then we're likely going to go back inside. My general's already blooded up. We don't want him to die now. Good. Cut away, cut away quickly. Get out. Get out. We've stopped those guys from going in. Ravenna and Gadrots over there. Spears, we might want to send you up there just to stop them. I'm going to send you up. Stop these guys. You should be able to win on the wall. Great work, General. You did do some damage to them. The towers are doing some great damage to these Gadrots as well. Where is the Prince of Dale? He's standing over here. He's over there. There we have him. Dalian Prince. Go guard mode as well. Spears, I'm telling you to move up on the walls. Do not linger. Get up there. Stop these guys. We don't want them to move down from the walls. Get up there. Take the fight with them. Stop them. The towers are helping you, so you should be able to win fairly easily. Good, you're getting up. Now take the fight. Destroy them on the walls. Yeah, you have tower support. It should go well for you. The towers are doing massive damage to the enemy. They have opened the gates. Moment of truth. Let them go over there. So that my archers can fire down over there in the choke points. The runic forces are slowly but surely getting into to range. We want them to help us here. It really would be nice with their support. Just going to send them to attack. Here they come. The hordes of Dale are approaching. Sending everything in. Just hold them here. Pikes, I guess you could move a bit more forwards here. Like that. That's good enough. Wait for them to get more forces in. Oh, they're sending even more guys up on the walls. Some longbowmen. Let them come. They shouldn't be able to pose much of a threat. Just keep to try and hold them here. Pikes, do we need to send you over here, maybe? Looks like they might want to push through. Archers, it's, it's time. It's time to start firing. You are going to focus these guys, and you are going to fight something over there. There we go. Begin doing damage 
23% of the enemy forces have been killed. The towers are doing massive amounts of damage to the enemy. The spears are destroying the Gudrots. Uh, the runic forces are only walking. We need them to come. We need their support here. They're pushing in hard into my pikes here. But my archers are doing a lot of damage to them. These guys are holding the line fairly great. Stay in guard, but we don't need you to do massive amounts of damage. We just need you to hold the enemy at bay. That's what we want you to do at the moment. These guys are beginning to take some losses. Uh, you know what? Go back. Go back. Take this position instead and uh, help this pike unit from that area. You're holding really well here. And my archers are doing massive amounts of damage to them. Most likely combined with the towers. Yeah, take that position. They're holding the line, these pikes. They're doing great. Uh, we are getting beaten, but they're doing a great job of holding the enemy at bay here. Same with this unit, it's re doing really great. Great work. And soon the runic reinforcements will be here. They are taking their sweet time though. <laughs> they certainly are. But we have them exactly where we want to have them. They're locked in here. My missiles are firing at the enemy. We're doing great damage to them. Form up like that and go into guard mode and help the other unit. Just get this area a bit stronger. Prince Brand is going to die this day. I have no idea where he is located at the moment. But uh, he's not going to survive this. Look at this. We're doing so much damage to them here with their archers. And the towers are helping as well. They are stuck. They're beginning to do some more damage to these guys though. Um, Ravenian Gadrots, 25 remaining. Really want to try and free up these spears on the wall and tr help plug the gap over here if possible. Runic forces. If you could run with your cavalry, that would be nice. Um, it's not going to work making you run, no. I'm telling you to silence these bowmen, though. Hopefully you can listen to that. We can always send in the archers into melee as well, if it comes down to it. Sixty-three percent of the enemy force has been killed now. They have dwarven infantry here. Edibor infantry, so th this is a decent alien army. Soon, these guys are here. We need them. We need them to come here. Get rid of these Ravenian Gros, please. Get kill get them killed. Just to... I want you to plug the gap here, Spears. The seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Runic warriors. You're taking your sweet time here. You really are. Please attack this unit. You can go for this unit. They're going for you, so just go for them and kill them, please. There we go, you're going into battle. You should be able to win fairly easily. You have the Cataphract, Lucrim Cavalry. Yeah, get in there and smash them. Look at these Dragon Wrath Cataphracts. Yeah, they're getting slaughtered. The bowmen are getting absolutely destroyed. And look at the damage we have done here. We're going to take this off now. And I'm going to set you to attack. Push into the enemy. No more guard mode on your side. Get some kills on the enemy. 
four remaining Athalar Rangers. <laughs> they're actually firing their bows as well. Oh, they're doing the arcing shot there. How's it going here? Oh, they're getting totally crushed. They're broken. Okay, now go in from here and flank the enemy with your cavalry. Ignore the bowmen. We don't need to chase that. Come on, guys. Go into the settlement and crush them in inside instead. It's better if you do that. No, they're going to chase, of course. Six remaining. Just get them killed and get into the settlement. As long as Prince Brand is alive, they're never going to break. I think this might be the guy. Is this the king? The prince, I mean. Prince Brand, is he? I think that's the guy over there. Yeah, he's over there, I think. Come on, kill the last remaining bowman, please. I need your help inside of the settlement. It's not worth chasing these guys. <laughs> and they're spreading out as well. Oh, they're, they're gonna chase until they're dead completely. And they're not getting them killed. Look at this guy, he's not dead. Oh, they're clonking out outside of the walls so. here. Just ignore the bowmen and go inside and finish the job, please. No, they want to chase, but they cannot chase because this unit is so spread out. They don't know what they should do here. They're not getting the kill. They're missing these guys. They're not hitting the right places. Uh, they're walking away from them. Oh, they're so clonking out. Can we get this guy killed? If you get this guy killed, you should be able to move for the last guy. Come on, get him killed. I think he's dead. Now you should be able to hit these last remaining guys with ease. Because they're actually grouped up. Come on, only one guy left now. Get them destroyed. Well, we could have done this on our own. For sure we could. There we go, we're finally done. Get into the settlement now and kill them all. Please. Oh, we have one guy over there as well. Oh, it's never ending. They're never getting the chase completed. They're just never doing it. It's the ch chariots, I think, making them having those difficulties. Maybe the tower can get this guy. There we go, he's dead. Good. Now, get in. Please do something, Rune. <laughs> do something. <laughs> get in with your chariots. They have nothing left now. They are almost utterly spent. Where is Prince Brand? He is over here, I think. Yeah, there he is. He's not even bloodied up either. Yeah, yes he is. He's bloodied up. He's eating some tower shots as well. Look at that. Yeah, he's likely gonna die soon. Come on, guys. Do not linger. Just go in. There we go. Move. Get the cab inside and finish the job, please. Claw God. Suryu Chariots doesn't want to join, neither the Dragon Wrath Cataphrax, but here comes the Claw Guard at least. And the Locrium Cavalry. Okay. Now these Hearth Guards, there we go. He's dead. There we go. Good victory. Uh, Rune really didn't help too much in this battle. <laughs> they did something. 132 kills at least. Better than nothing. And the archers, as always, not surprise, surprise at all. 309, 334 for the archers, so 600. More than 600 combined. The pikemen also did fairly great. And uh, Ondosto still stands. They're gathering even more armies. <clears throat> Captain Azabian is also moving in. Oh, yeah, look at that. Dale has taken back the region in the north there. They've pushed Rune back. But we killed a powerful commander though. Prince Bran is no more. And that is a great thing. Uh, because he's likely a really powerful auto resolver against any other AI nation. He could be 
fighting maybe some runic forces and win those ultra resolving battles. Gondos is facing so much difficulties here. I'm so feeling bad for them. Look at that. They're getting so destroyed. Londangren, that's precisely the region we're going after. Castamite, let's not forget about you. Let's move with you instantly. Where is Lond Angren? It's over there. Okay, good. I'm happy that we did get the mission. Drop anchor. Get this captain army. Oh, it's open for us. They have another guy here. Faction air. Okay, okay. Oh. Where did these armies come from? Where did these armies come from? Dubshith. Oh, God. How are you getting these armies? How many territories do you have, Enedwife? Besiege Londangren. We might siege them out. Elder Londa, go for the army barracks. I want to have the best possible troops. We are going to get the Royal Legion of Armenolos, the Naru Naru Sentinels, and the Legion, Alcarondas Legion, from this building. This is a powerful pike unit. Yeah, get the, get the army barracks. It's going to help us out a great deal. Romana. Um, hmm, what do I want to go for here now? Growth is still pretty healthy. Uh, sheep farming. Moorland fountains. Let's go for leather worker. I want to save some money for other things. Well, by the looks of things, we're going to need more forces here. And we're going to need to send them down south. As quickly as we can. Did I take the... Yeah, I took them with me and I didn't retrain them. The legendary Numenorian Cohort Company. Well, I will retrain them later. I will. Um, well, I guess we have to get everything we can here. We have to get everything we can... Um, Archers. Shield guard, get the key for huntsmen as well. And I'm going to queue up everything else that I can get here. We're going to want to use them. Minas Tremak, same thing here, honestly. Well, we can't get too many things here. Okay. Um, cavalry. You're not going to be worthwhile over there. I want to send you down to this area. Get there with haste. Do not linger. These guys are going to try and reinforce down here as well. Uh, the king of Adunafel is in a sticky position here. I don't think we can take the, this army down and this army. Was that your best shot? I don't think this is the last stand army either. Where did they get these armies from? Yes, my lord. This is a city, a yeah, city. If we can some way or another outplay this army to to you. and not allow them, yeah, they can I go through here. I really want to try and take Karas without this army joining in. Because if this army attacks me after we've taken Karas, we should be able to win easily when defending the walls of this area. City walls are really great. And I'd much rather have a defensive city battle defense against this kind of an army instead of an open field battle. Try and sneak your way over to this side if you can. Oh, you're not you're not in a great, great position. This army should be able to do the necessary job on their own. Everything else. Oh, you're not happy. Oh, 70%. That's enough. You're going for this one. And, yeah. <sighs> I don't like that we have to have our governors here. Yes, my lord. 40%. Yeah. Your orders, Bale is only a town. I don't see any signs of aggression from Dunland or the northern Dunedain. I might risk sending these back guys back home as well to retrain over at Alalonda. If the Northern Dunedain goes for Baylor, or if Dunland goes for Baylor, we're not going to be able to hold it. 
there is no way for us to be able to hold this area. But I want these guys to be trained. We need them in the southern front. We need them here. There's still some fighting left in an, Ed in an Edwith. They are just not giving up. And they're getting armies out of nowhere. Where did this army come from, man? Was that your best shot? Yes, my lord. They have a big garrison inside. Avalyn is inside here. This is also going to be a really gr great grab for us. If we take this one. They have the dockyard. This is going to be a money-making machine. Um, beseech it. We shall engage. This is a stronghold though. We I'm not sure they want to go in. Yes, your will, my lord. You're headed home. Yes. We can go no further today. Over here. Well, this is only a captain-led army. They are getting some better units now. King Shields, Barning Marksman. Ships ready. Ah. Ships ready. Transport these cavalry forces over to this side as well. Look at this. I hate these Darwinian navies getting sneaking their way over. It's possible to get some mercenaries. No, no mercenaries available. Yeah, Dale is closing in. Dale and Billman. Yeah, they're definitely going to attack me. They're definitely going to attack me. What we are likely going to do, we are going to put our army yes, my lord. on the bridge. My lord. Just for one turn. Lord, hope that they attack us on the bridge and hopefully we can do some damage and then withdraw back to Andosto. Just to weaken this army a bit. That should help us a bit. Try and get some damage done to them and then withdraw to Andosto. Oh, we're out of money. You're not free upkeep. You're going to be transported over to this side. And we're going to send you into Ondosto as well. You're actually decent. 3 attack, 9 defense. You can do the shield wall. You're going to be a helpful unit in that area. Well, Tarek Magan, I think your army is ready. But the Winion is just sending army after army up here. And they have another army over there as well. Okay, all of a sudden it doesn't feel so great anymore. It felt great a while there, but now it doesn't feel too great anymore because they're closing in with army after army against us. A profound honor. Lukan of Rune. Amdur. And we're beginning to lose some money. Yes, my lord. We don't have anything else. We, we, yeah, we really want... Maybe we should stop... Going for a building in one of our locations to get some extra forces, I think so. We're going for the port. We don't want to cancel that. Well, let's cancel this one. We started something else somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea where. Stop Stop recruiting these guys here. Oh, we're just starting something somewhere. Minas Triamak needs to get a building, but we cannot afford it. Where are we starting things? We're starting some recruitment. Every time I take away some money, it returns. We can get these guys here. We should absolutely try and get them. Uh, are we retraining forces over here? Is that what, what's happening? Or maybe recruiting? Yeah, we're recruiting these guys. Stop recruiting them and recruit forces over at Ondosto instead. Your orders, my lord. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yes, my lord. Spears. Let's train you as well. There we go. You're, You're gonna stand here and defend. Okay. Let's send a turn and see what happens. Dubshith, if he attacks us, we have to try and withdraw. We, I don't think we can win again. We might be able to win because we have such a great army. Even though it's quite small, we have some powerful units in this army. But it's definitely going to be risky. What I'm hoping is maybe that this army on its own will attack us. Then we are definitely going to take the fight. Oh lord, they're just getting armies out of their asses. How on earth can they get so many armies? I don't understand. 
how they can have so many armies. What will Leonard White do? And the thing is, if we withdraw from that position, is that army gonna die because they don't have anywhere to go? Could also be the case. Yeah, they're blocking me in. I don't think I can withdraw. If I click withdraw here, I think my army's gonna die. I honestly think this army's gonna die if we withdraw from here. Okay, I think we're gonna have to take this fight. Well, their faction leader is moving in. Have they split up their army a bit? I think they have. Oh, war wagons. Yeah, if we get a really powerful defensive position, we might be able to do this, but we don't have any cavalry. We don't have any cavalry. These guys are too long. Oh my goodness, this is not good. This is not good. And Edwithian cavalry. Filani herders, war wagons. This is a big army. Oh, goodness gracious. The power that we have is the executioners, marksmen, shadow bows, and the king himself. Yeah, we're in a sticky position here. I guess try and take the fight. I'm gonna try. Let's go in. The thing is, I have seen armies get killed when they try to withdraw in the Karas region before because they're locked in. They don't have anywhere to go. And I'm fearing we are in for the same fate today if we don't win this fight. If we withdraw with the army, I think they're going to die because they don't know where to go. So that's the thing. Well, Dubshith army. He is. He has a big army. He got a good, good old big army. Uh, you cannot put the stakes. You can put the stakes down. Where do we form up? We could try and go for a corner. That's going to make it harder for them to flank us. Now this corner is actually pretty good. It's a decent corner. I don't know, should we go for the corner? I think that might be the best thing to do. Because if they get to flank us, we're going to be do done for. And I think we have to do this. We have to take a corner here because they're going to outnumber me so hard if we don't. At least here, we can hold them at bay. They're not going to be able to get the flanks done. But it might be too cheesy. I've done this before. And I'm not sure that you guys like it. <laughs> it's a cheesy strategy to go for the corner. It really is cheesy. Uh, because they cannot flank you. But in this type of circumstance, it might be called for. It might be the, be the best thing we can do. I think this is the best thing we can do. We are just desperately outnumbered here. I don't think we can take them on in the open field. We have too, too little... Forces. Uh, forgive me, guys. I'm gonna take the corner. I think that's our best opportunity, our best chance of victory here. We have to try and use the game to our advantage in this kind of a battle. It, a lot of things are at stake in this battle. The Western King, the King of Adunafel, his life is at stake here. Start the battle. Okay, take the corner. I know this is not the most fun strategy in the game, but I'm gonna do this. I think possibly a lot of you guys would have done the same. Form up over there. Yeah, my front line is not that strong. Form up over there, infantry. Somewhere around here. Executioners, I'm gonna try and keep you safe for a while. Yeah, they are bringing in a lot. I'm not sure that the corner is going to help us e either. We might lose even with the corner camp because they have a lot of things. And they have a lot of things that can do damage to us. That's the thing with Ennard Wythe. Even the lowly herder, even the basic standard javelin that you get from turn one can still destroy your most elite units because of their javelins. So... This is the best thing we can do. We don't have cavalry, so we're just going to have to corner camp and defend for our lives here. And if it turns bad, we can maybe try and withdraw and hope that we survive. But if we don't, then the king of Adunafel has died and we shall have a new heir to the kingdom. Executioners, stand here. 
spears. I need you to be in guard mode. We want you to hold the line as long as possible. Pikes, guard mode. We don't need you to get any kills. Just hold that line. Just hold that line for as long as you can. It looks like they're grouping up their entire horde together. Ballista, you're all the way in the back. Okay. Moment of truth. Executioners, you might actually stand over there. I'm not sure where we will send the executioners. Possibly where there might be a gap in the front line. Even if we lose, we're likely going to be able to do a lot of damage to the enemy. Because we have units that can dish out some serious damage. This is a professional army. This is the most professional army of the Western Kingdom currently. And if we lose, we're also going to lose the Executioners, the Marksmen, and the Shadow Bows. And it's going to take a long time for us to get more of those guys. Yeah, I've really put myself in a sticky situation here. Here they come. They're moving for me. And they're grouping everything together. All the three armies are going together. Look at this. This is a big army that we're facing today. <laughs> the balance of power seems to think that we have a big chance of winning here. I think the game underestimates the power of the javelins from Enid White. Okay. Um, first thing we need to try and get rid of is of course the war wagons. They need to fall quickly. Then, after that, we're going to have to try and snipe out some of the commanders. Uh, we have one herald over there. Another one over there. The, the commanders needs to die. Those guys really needs to die. I think, yeah, they have a lot of archers as well. They're going to be able to do a lot of damage to me with their archers. And Edwithian marksmen, they have their unboxed toy. Deadly axe throwing units that can destroy your units quickly. They're sending something forwards. Some of their archers are moving forwards. And they do have a lot of them. I feel a lot of fear for this fight. I fear for my king. I do. Okay, you guys, a few of you are in range. At least we have the ability that we can use. Firing at the foresters. Okay, the war wagons are going into range. Focus them down. Get rid of them first, please. Get them killed. Get them wiped out. We don't want them to, to go in and do something weird against my... There we go. We killed the captain. One of the captain is dead. Filane Herders is also a unit want to bring down. Come on, get them killed entirely, please. We're wasting a lot of ammunition here on those guys. We're not killing it. Come on. Okay, stop focusing that unit. Cavalry would have been nice here because they are firing back at me. Try and weaken these guys a bit. We don't want to waste everything we have on these guys though. Absolutely not. Foul and Warriors, that's a unit we could try and dish damage to quickly. We should be able to take it down fairly quickly. Go for the herders. A uh, few of you will go for the uh, foul and warriors there. Not you, you can focus on something, just keep the range. And as well, these herders always seem to have a lot of hit points. Foul and warriors are getting kind of crushed here. They have some spearmen as well. Uh, archers, we need you to fall back again. Get back to a better position. Yeah, they're weakening me. These guys are at least not doing anything yet. They are allowing me to take one of their armies down without a fight. And I, didn't I tell you to move? I thought I told you to move like this. Ah, oh, these Druidan Hunters. We have one unit of cavalry would have been great today, but we don't have that in our arsenal. It's a 
bit of a shame. We're wasting our ammunition here. These are maybe not the most worthwhile targets to go for. What should we do? They're doing damage to me. 8% of the enemy force has been killed. Oh, this is not worthwhile. Stop firing. Save ammunition. We're going to try and move forwards with our infantry instead and try and break or get rid of a few of these guys. Executioners, we're going to move out with you as well. Get everyone moving. Try and move out. I really want to try and break these guys. We need to save the ammunition for later. Hold here. Yeah, they're moving in. Executioners. Moved. Look at the kills they're getting on me with their disgusting archers here. Go over that. Break or silence those guys. You're going to go in there as well and silence them. Um, executioners. Oh, they're moving now. I don't think we should do this. These guys are broken. Okay, you know what? I think we should break this unit quickly, though. Try and break it. Archers, can we please get rid of these herders? Just get rid of them. Crush them. Do something about them. They are just never dying from archer fire. The tank... Oh, they're going in now in a charge. Okay. Stop firing, then. Oh, they're getting closer. We have to move out from here. We have to move out quickly. Get back. Hold the line. Oh, goodness gracious. Take out the war wagons, the fresh war wagon over there. Take it out. Get rid of it. They're doing massive damage to me. Take it out. Better get footmen, get back to safety. We have more herders on the way. Oh, they're doing so much damage to me, these disgusting wildman forces. Pray something changes in the course of battle. The defeat seems almost certain. Pikes turn around. Face them. They're going into melee with you. Oh, we're doing friendly fire here. They're broken. Go for the harders over there, please. Yeah, sadly, the... The... Um, executioners are going to have to be a frontline unit, I think. Here comes the hordes. I don't think we can stop this. I don't think we can. They have too much. They have too much ranged as well. Too many ranged forces. Too much power. Yeah, look at the hordes. This is way from much too much for us to handle. Marksmen are going into melee. Firing the main blob or something. Uh, Adonaim Shadowbow is trying to do maximum damage. Foul on border guards, ignore that kind of a unit, that doesn't matter. Ballista, let's try and start firing with you. I haven't done anything with you yet. Try and do some damage. We have guardsmen as well. The elite javelin units. Oh, we're going to try everything we can to win, but I fear this is going to be hopeless. I think it is. Executioners, you're going to get into battle now. Yes, you are. Look at that. They're focusing the marksmen. They're doing massive damage to them as well. And Bakstoy. They're throwing. Other than I'm Shadow Bows, try and fire at them, Bakstoy. Yeah, look at them. Look at the, the javelins, man. Look at those javelins. They're doing so much damage. Look at that. They're totally destroyed already, the marksmen, from the javelins. I'm not sure why the the game thinks that we can win against this kind of army. Um, the balance of power should be 1 against 20 instead of three against or 1 against 3 or 2 against 3 or whatever it was. Uh, because we're not winning this fight. We're never going to win it. They have too much disgusting javelins. King, you need to pull back a bit. Javelins are even firing at the enemy. We're going to try and withdraw from here. If the battle goes too ill. We, we, we still might have a chance if we assassinate a general or something. We might have a chance of victory. But the chances are getting more and more slim each passing second. The ballista is firing at the enemy. 
archers. I have just fire somewhere in the blob, I don't know. They have too many things. The clan heralds are throwing their things against me as well. Try and destroy the clan herald general there. The executioners are doing great in the melee. But they're also going to get overrun here. Look at that. Look at the javelins. Look at the Melkor's marksmen there. They've been so destroyed. I mean, the pikes are doing great, though. They're doing decent. They're holding the lines. But we're going, getting so overrun here. The billmen are pushing through. And you remember from the previous episode, the billmen are just a monster unit. Shadow bows. I want you to fire. No. We won't be able to get how much? 37%. We're, we're doing great damage to them. We are, but it's not enough. It's not going to be enough. Can you please focus the billman there? Uh, is there anything more prioritized we could go for with the ballista? Executioners, yeah, victory is a distinct possibility, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's looking grim. It's looking terribly grim. At the moment. My frontline is holding, the pikes especially, are doing quite great. Against the enemy. They are, I have to give them that. Gonna try and maximize the damage with the ballista here as well. Billmen are pushing through. They have so much fire that they can return with. Look at the bombardment. Javelins are being thrown. They're never out of ammunition for some reason. The, the hardest are still throwing their javelins even though they should be out at this stage. Take the fight with the Billmen. If only we could get an opportunity with these guys to get better shots. Maybe we can stand with them over here and fire in the tower or something. We're gonna try that. Get more of them killed than we are currently. Yeah, the executioners are plowing through the enemy. They really are, but they're not gonna survive. Try and fire over there in, the, in this blob there. I mean, we have done some great damage, but we are not. We don't have enough. We simply don't have enough. The only way for us to have a victory if we, is if we kill a, a commander or something. Let's see, are you getting... Yeah, look at that. We're penetrating through the town to that. That's good. Might be able to destroy these guys at least. Yeah, their ammunition is not ending. They're not getting out of ammunition. Clan heralds are moving in. Focus them. Let's see if we can kill their general. One of them at least. He's over here, I think. I think this might be one of their leaders. Try and get him killed if possible. He's just going ham into the melee here. Something is broken. Oh, we killed one general. We killed one general. Okay. Dubshith. Did we kill another? Okay, we did. Okay, okay. What is going on? We might maybe be able to win. We've killed both the generals here. They still have a lot of things left, though. They still have a lot of things left. <laughs> and they're just constantly bombarding me with fire. It's just... Melko's executioners are doing great, though, in the front line. Just hold as long as you can, executioners. Do not die. How is my king doing? Yeah, don't chase them. Let them run away from me, please. Light and spearmen broken. Yeah, a lot of them are wavering. We might have a chance here. We killed both of their generals. 
I'm not sure it's going to be enough though. I think we might lose it still because we we don't have a lot left. But the pikes, man, they have done so. Look at the damage they've done. Look at the pikes. Heroic efforts in this fight. Yeah, we're seeing a chain route. We're seeing the chain route going here. Try and fight some of the hardest in the back. I know there's a lot of retreating forces here. We, we, we won't be able to focus them though because we have to try and get rid of the forces that are still here. The forces that are still in the fight we have to try and bring down. Sending in some cavalry now. Filani herders, I think they're out of ammunition. Look at the shield wall, look at the shield wall. They've been staying there for so long. We're fighting some cavalry here, just hold your positions. Executioners, I wonder how many kills they've gotten in this fight. I guess it's a lot of kills. It has to be, it has to be a lot of kills for them. This is what a fight we're having here. What a fight. What a flippin' fight. They're wavering. Yeah, we're breaking them. We're breaking them. Spears, just hold this line. I know that you're likely gonna need some help soon. Uh, you guys, focus the hardest, please. Get them killed. They're going back in. They're charging into my pikes again. I'm gonna take this off now. And just focus down the cap. Go aggressive on them. We should be able to do more damage to them if we go aggressive. There we go. They're dropping quicker. Keep going, Pikes. Keep going. You're doing amazing. Marksman, you're out of... Uh, I think you're out soon. Not yet. Go for one last volley over there or something. And then we're going to send you in. Harders are broken. Good. Dune and Hunters, they're out of ammunition. Focus them with your shots. Are you out now? Yes, you are. Help the Executioners. Don't let them die. I think they're out of ammunition now, all of them. Oh, they're going in for my Belagir archers there. Take the fight. Yeah, the medical marksmen are going in. <laughs> Look at the executioners, they're still alive. <laughs> what a fight. Go and fight the hunters, please. Going again going against the hunters. The inner white cavalry is still not broken, even though we're fighting. Oh, there we go, they're broken now. Archers with remaining ammunition focus the marksmen in the back. Over here, we're getting weaker. The footmen are getting overrun. You are going to go in there and help marksmen and executioners. Here comes the marksmen. Going in against the border guards, breaking them instantly. Silence something from doing damage, please. General, how are you doing? You are bloodied up, but you're still alive. <laughs> Ballista, fire over that, please. Yeah, we're gonna win. We, I don't know how we kill the generals. If they were alive, this wouldn't be possible. I can't believe that we didn't, that we haven't lost this fight yet. You, help with the car, please. Oh, they're broken now. Try and get as many kills on them as possible. There we go. They're out. No longer in the fight. Go for the Junon Hunters over there. Silence them if you can. I wonder how many kills my guys have gotten in this fight. I cannot even imagine how many kills some of my units have gotten in this, in this fight. They only have their archers left. The battle is over. We have won the battle. How on earth? They're trying to flee from me. At least we did get to catch these marksmen here. They're going to die. You can flank them and hopefully make their misery end quicker. You are going to stop firing. Look at that. Look at how many armies they're running away with. A few more minutes and this battle would be over. 
Victor seems certain. Executioners, get in there as well. You might be able to help turn the tide. You can fire at the Judon Hunters. Let's fire at something. These guys will scare them, so hopefully they can make us win against the marksmen here. There we go, they're broken. Fight into the death. Okay, my archers are trying to kill the last one. Oh, they're broken as well. <laughs> these guys are broken. Everything is broken except these guys that are wavering. There we go. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Let's end the battle. 78% of the enemy force has been killed. They still have a few guys left here. But for some reason, we did it. We killed both of their commanders. Oh, Shadow Bows, 903 kills. They performed. Melkor's Executioners, yeah, we healed 65. They didn't get any experience. We healed a lot of this army. Uh, Marksman, 399. 8 and 9. Healed, experience gain 1. Yeah, the Shadow Bows, man. Wow. Wow. Melkor's executioners, they really ploughed through in the melee there. They really did. And... <laughs> We're still here. We're still here. We killed their, both of their commanders almost at the same exact time. And that made them break. Cannot believe it. What a battle. What a battle. The enemy forces might have great javelins, great spears, and great war wagons, but they lack something that we have, and that's discipline. My forces held the line even though the odds were stacked against them, and victory is ours. But we couldn't go in and take the city though. Mootspeaker Larnach is moving in, but we have weakened them with that. We have to have weakened them quite greatly there. I don't expect them to have much power left after that victory. They have uh, Captain Lachlan over there, which is a bit more than half a stack. But that was a great victory. It surely was. Enemy camp sacked. Gonda weakened. Yes, we know. We know they're weakened. Lay siege. Uh, get some ladders. Get one ram, get the cav into this army as well. And they could reach, that's wonderful. Inside, they do have a lot of things. This is a city still, so six turns for them to, to sell out. This is also a city, five turns until they sell out. Karvarad can be upgraded. And we cannot afford it, let's uh, queue it up. Karasfarason, dockyard, it's gonna help with the finances. Communal farming. Port over at Bale. It's good. Yes. Hey, on Dosto. Yeah, we're not going to go for anything here. They didn't attack me. They didn't attack me over at Ondosto. Or uh, over at the, uh, the yes, uh, bridge. No. But they're closing in as well. <laughs> Rune. Send this guy over and aid us. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, they're I sending a bit too much here. Go, go back inside. Honor. Train everything that can be retrained and um, hold. Be gone. Yes, my lord. Mercenaries. Get the spears only. They are great at holding the line. At least it's only captain-led armies. They have one general over there. Two generals, actually. Vandergast and Skuld. But it's in a tiny army. Of course, we're going to send these guys over as well. Transport them over. We're beseeching Ilanin with our king in the east. Halstein is moving in. Captain Gustav, they are getting forces out of nowhere as well now. 
Darwinian. This army we could just move out and take down. Gustav, I guess we have to try and do that as well. But, I mean, we have split up our army here. Get extra archers. Yeah, my army has been split up. Okay, okay. Um, you move down south. I'm going to try and risk ending the faction of Enadwyth as quickly as I can now. I'm getting tired of them. I want to end them. Karas and Lond Angren. Druvaith Iar is not. Yeah, where's my spy? This guy. Okay, they have this region down here somewhere. Yeah, the one region that is located somewhere around there. They have this region, I think it might be Bregnas. Try and scout them out. There we go, Gundis over there, we have found it. Then we know it, it's located over there. Have they taken it from Isengard? I think they might have. And try and find this region as well. Oh, in terms of money, we're really not doing too great anymore. We're really quite weak in the money department. We cannot afford to get buildings done in all of our locations at the same time anymore. We are out of money. Are they going to get any reinforcements? No. Keep beseeching. Oh, Lord. Um, ten turns until they sally out. <laughs> Uh, we could, yeah, we're gonna do that at the beginning of the next episode. We're gonna attack Captain Ingar and try and lure out this army from Ilanin to try and claim it quickly, get rid of them, and then send as many forces down south as possible. I think we have to keep the Karvarad army inside of Karvarad for now. Cavalry, you're gonna take the fort here. Save some money. You are quite expensive. And uh, Santana, we, we need something extra there. Yeah, we, we have to get something. Cancel the archers over there and get something else here. Yeah, go for the steel bows instead. Well, what an episode. What an episode. There's just so much action. In these episodes, it's unbelievable. And the fight in the woods of Karas, man. What a flippin' fight. Luckily for us, we healed so much as well. Look at the executioners, look at the Melkos marksmen. They're back to almost full strength. And they did so well in the fight. They really performed. And look at the... We have caviar now as well that's going to help. I'm thinking... This guy is likely going to try and attack me over at Alkfud, or not Alkfud, uh, Karas. Maybe even this guy as well. But we have Cav this time. And with Cav we can do so many other things. We can flank and charge them in the back and things like that. Well, the war against Enidwyth goes forwards. And it continues. With a lot of problems. If I'm honest, it's still a lot of difficulties that we need to face. And in terms of money, we're not doing too great anymore. But at least we should be able to take Ilanin at the beginning of the next episode if we attack this arm and draw, draw out the garrison inside. From here. I, I, you know, I think one thing that I, think I, I don't like about uh, the towers in Divide and Conquer... It really makes you, as the player, it really forces you to kind of attack, do things like this. It's a bit cheesy to attack armies standing outside of the settlements and drawing out the garrison. It's a bit cheesy. But the game kind of forces you to do that. Because if you go in against a stronghold without four catapults, you're going to lose your entire army to the towers. So the game kind of forces you to take the cheesy ways into settlements. It's not worth charging in head on. It's not worth it. Because you're going to lose. You might, I might win, but I'm going to lose 80% of my army if I go in like that. 
That's the thing. And over from Karvarad, I guess you're just gonna have to stay put here. Cavalry. If something bad happens over at Santana, we we could always send you guys over to help against these guys. With your help, we should be able to crush this army fairly easily. So Santana we should be able to be defended as well. I wonder how much territory. Yeah, they have Raburg as well. This might oh this is Dalian territory. This one here. Well, when we do switch sides, Dorwinian is a faction that we have to destroy. And Dale, I really want to grab this territory. But I want to switch sides eventually. And I want to get a peace treaty with Dale when the time comes. But Dorwinian is going to have to fall for us to become mighty. We need these territories if we are to getting these empires put together eventually. Your order. There we go, though. Thank you for watching this glorious episode. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all.